Okay, lesson 7-5, precision. This means finding answers with accuracy, okay? So, data is information that we gather, okay? And then we put our data into the graphs. So, how many items does each symbol represent? Okay, again, we have a graph, we have to look at the title, we gotta figure out what it is, what information is being displayed here for us. Lotions and soaps available, and each, like bar of soap, equals two items, which means if we had like a little half bar of soap, that would equal one item, but we don't seem to have that, so that's okay. And then, so we have scented lotions, and they tell us that they're $4 each, but again, each item represents two items, each two lotions. So this would be two, four, six, eight, ten scented lotions that are available times four dollars each. So two, four, six, eight, ten times four dollars, that would be forty dollars if we wanted to buy all of these scented lotions. Unscented lotion makes sense that they're a little bit less expensive because they don't have the cool scents in them. Each one of these represents two lotions. So there's two, four, six, eight lotions available at $2 each. So if we bought all of these eight, that would be $16. Scented soaps are $3 each. There's only three available, so that would be $9 if we wanted to buy, oh, no, 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 not nine, two, four, six. There's six available times three, that would be $18. And then unscented soap, so like bars of soap that don't have any fluffy smell to them. So there's two, four, six, eight available times $1 each. So if we wanted to buy at them out of all of their unscented soap, it would be $8, okay? So how many items does each symbol represent? How many items does this represent? Two items. How much does each bottle of scented lotion cost? Okay, here's scented lotion. Each bottle, don't worry about how many there are, but each bottle costs what? $4 each, okay? All right, use the picture graph. Dana wants to make her mother a gift basket. She wants to expend exactly $35. She wants to have at least five items in the basket. Show one way to make it. Okay, if we buy, they're telling us we have to buy four bottles of scented lotion. The scented lotions are $4 each. So, and we know we, we can buy four of them. It'd be two and two. Um, that would be four times four, $16. So we're gonna start off with $35. We're gonna subtract out the 16 that it would cost for those lotions. So go ahead and pause it and do that. Okay, more on the floor. You need to go next door. So 15 minus six is nine and two minus one is one. So we have $19 left over. Okay, so how many bars of scented soap do we wanna buy? Because we wanna put some unscented soap in there too, okay? So let's say they're $3 each, we have $19 to spend. So we could do five bars, five times three, that's $15, right? So we have that's $15 that we're gonna spend on that. We started out with 19, and we're gonna subtract out the 15. Okay, so pause it, go ahead and do 19 minus 15. More on the top, no need to stop. So we have $4 left. So the bars of unscented soap are $1 each, so let's get four of those. That'll be $4. And $4 minus $4 equals $0 left. Perfect. So are there at least five items? We bought four of these, five of those, and four of those. So we have four plus five plus four. Okay, four plus five is nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oops, not a dollar sign. So there's 13 items. Do we have at least five? Yes. And the total cost of the items should be 
16, 15, and 4. So let's double check that math. Okay, and we'll do it over here. Now I, I like doing this. I know that 16 plus 4 is 20, plus the 15 equals 35, but we can do it this way. 6 plus 4 is 10, 10 plus 5 is 15. $35, check, check. Check, we spent $35. We have 13 items in there. It's a beautiful basket. Okay, using this picture graph on the back, show another way to make a gift basket that totals exactly $35. And you can't buy 35 um, bars of unscented soap because you only have eight of them to buy. So you can't do that. So, but play with it. You can buy some scented lotion, some unscented lotion, some scented soap some unscented soap. You can put as many items as you want in there. There's no minimum or maximum in your basket, but you do need to total exactly $35. So if you buy, you know, three unscented lotions times $2 each, that's $6. The first thing you have to do is do 35 minus six. That'll leave you with 29, and then when you do your next batch, you have to subtract that from 29. Each time, you have to keep subtracting what you spent from what you had left over, and that should work. Okay, good job.